We are at the Christ Church in Oxford Centre. The name of this place comes from the fact that it is located at about the centre of the earliest settlements in Oxford County, and for a while in the earliest days was the gathering place for the annual drill ceremonies of the Oxford Militia, held each year on the King's birthday. The founders of Oxford Centre were Sam and Lucy Canfield, who settled at this location at the request of Thomas Ingersoll so there would be a stopping point and resting place for the other settlers who came to Oxford on the Thames in the 1790s with the Thomas Ingersoll group from Great Barrington. This is the monument and resting place for Sam and Lucy Canfield, who came to Upper Canada in the fall of 1795 and settled here in the spring of 1796. They had already spent their early adult life in Connecticut and joined a group of settlers who moved into a new township in New Hampshire in the 1760s, but they became unhappy about continuing to live there after the deaths of three of their daughters, so decided to join the group of settlers led by Thomas Ingersoll from Great Barrington. Sam and Lucy Canfield already had experience in what was required to open a new township and agreed to help in founding Oxford by settling here before the land was even surveyed. Three years later, they suffered the shock and disappointment of learning that the surveyor general did not know they were located on this land and therefore granted it to someone else. Sam and Lucy and their sons spent several years after this fighting to have their rights recognized. This is the petition submitted by the Canfields to the Government of Upper Canada. It reads, To His Excellency Peter Hunter, Esquire, Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Upper Canada in Council, the petition of Samuel Canfield, Senior of Oxford on the Thames. Humbly showeth that your petitioner came into the province with his family consisting of a wife and six children near four years ago as a settler under Mr. Thomas Ingersoll, the then nominee of the township, and was by him placed on lot number 12 in the fourth concession of the eastern division of that township, where your petitioner has built a house and cleared nearly 30 acres of land. That your petitioner till lately thought himself secured in the possession of the aforementioned lot, as Mr. Ingersoll had assured him he would transact his business at the council office, that Mr. Ingersoll having neglected to do so, and Mr. Gideon Tiffany has in the meantime obtained a patient for the aforesaid lot, which appeared vacant in the Surveyor General's office, and that the said Tiffany now refuses to give up the lot unless another shall be secured to him in lieu thereof. Your petitioner therefore humbly prays your Excellency for a grant of 200 acres so that he may be enabled to make an exchange with Mr. Tiffany and your petitioner. As in duty bound will ever pray, Samuel Canfield, York, September 18, 1799. This is the text of the letter, the letter submitted by Thomas Ingersoll. York, September 19, 1799. To the Honorable John Emsley, Esquire and Council, this is to certify that Mr. Samuel Canfield came into the town of Oxford 18 months before the town was laid open, and by my request, he settled on lands not surveyed. The said Canfield has made great improvements, and said lot is located by Mr. G. Tiffany. Mr. Canfield has been great service to the settlers, and other travelers, and is a worthy man. I beg the liberty to pray your honor to grant the said S. Canfield a lot of land that he may exchange with Mr. Tiffany, which Mr. Tiffany agrees to. With due respects, Thomas Ingersoll.